is supposed to be stress free. Mm -hmm. It's never stress free with you. Well, that's why I have a list, a note, because you stress me out. <laughs> Hi, folks, it's Lee and Teresa from Stringfield Ridge Farm. We're going to talk to you about the fifth annual Heartland Homesteaders Picnic. Uh, the fifth, fifth annual. Can you believe it has it's been five fifth. years? Can't believe it's been five years. Now, um, we have averaged about 100 people each year. And that has been awesome because when we first started uh, this picnic, um, we, uh, we, you know, I, I thought maybe 40 or 50 people maybe uh, from this area. And uh, we have had people from all over the country come. Uh, as far as Florida and uh, down south, uh, you know, Mississippi, Louisiana, I can't even name more all. Alabama. One guy last uh, year, I think. New Indiana. York or something. Oh, uh, Micro Farmer. Yeah, Micro Farmer. Micro Farmer, Farmer That's his name. came from New York. Uh, we've just had people from all over the country, and, uh, and that is awesome. So we've averaged about 100 people. Uh, <clears throat> Uh, so most people are staying at City, that Kentucky. hotel, Quality Inn, Calvert City. You need to call the hotel direct if you're going to stay there and tell them you're with Heartland Homesteaders. And maybe they'll give you a little discount. The discount was supposed to end May 31st. But if you call and you say you're with Heartland Homesteaders, maybe they'll give you a little discount. You can ask doesn't hurt to ask right no. so um, it wasn't a big discount this year uh, but I think the regular price was gonna be $89 and they gave us a discount of $82.50 so um, you may not get a discount but it doesn't hurt to ask anyway uh, so um, what are you gonna buy with that discount <laughs> well um, so we have lots of fun there uh, we go there Usually everybody gets there on Friday night. You can stay Friday night or Saturday night or both. We get there on Friday night and um, and hang out. And then the picnic is Saturday. And then after the picnic on Saturday, uh, after about 3 p.m. when the picnic shuts down, everybody kind of goes back to the hotel and hangs out again. So that's kind of what we've done. Uh, you may have heard about the luggage cart race <laughs> and Jan's so, going down this year oh that's and a so challenge. is Matt oh mm -hmm. that's a challenge there two uh, of them going so. down this year <laughs> I got it uh yeah okay In so the he's talking about Simply Jan yeah. at Simply Jan's homestead uh she won year before last yeah and then last year she got beat by a little fella mm -hmm. uh, from Boots and Bounty Homestead. Yeah. So uh, anyway, um, so booth setup is free if you would like to set up a booth to sell your goods. Uh, that is free. It is potluck. We usually meet about 10 at the park, Little Lake Park in Grand Rivers, Kentucky. Probably should have said that first. Yeah. Let me go back. Go back. The Heartland Homesters <laughs> picnic is at Little Lake Park at Grand Rivers, Kentucky. Kentucky. Uh, it is on Kentucky Lake, so it's a beautiful area. It is always the second Saturday in September from about 10 till 3, and we have lunch at noon potluck lunch at noon. If you don't like potluck, feel free to bring your own picnic basket. So, uh, we always have door prices and uh, a seed swap. And uh, if you have um, items that you sell or make, we would love for you to possibly donate an item or two for the door prices. Uh, <clears throat> so um, 
We usually have several pretty good door prizes. So if you can donate something, that great, that's great. Uh, if you would like to donate to the door prizes or the seed swap, uh, you can uh, send that to me and I will make sure that gets in there. Uh, if you uh, if you can't come for some reason, but you want to donate, uh, put your name on it. Put your name on any door prize that you send or any seeds that you send. Put your name on it so your name gets out there. You know, it helps get you exposure if you have a channel or something. So, uh, um, um, lets people know who donated. At least to 100 people. <laughs> Maybe a few more, who knows? Um, okay, so, um, and I always do um, a live, so if you don't yeah. get to come and you want to watch, check us out that day, and we'll be live. Okay, so some things we need. Let's see, let me see if I covered everything. There's lots to do in that area. A Patty's 1880s Settlement is right there in Grand Rivers, is a beautiful place to see. Uh, great food, but it's a little pricey. I was going to say, it's an expensive <laughs> place to eat. But they have other things to do there. There, Yeah, yeah. It's got little antique got shops me. and miniature golf. Yeah, me push back there and make me look like I'm small again. They have uh, little antique shops there and different things and uh, miniature golf and, and different things there to see. So it's a great little place to visit. Uh, let's see, seed swap. Uh, okay, um, our friend Bub at Getting Started on Homesteading has done our seed swap every year and we really appreciate him and what he has done for us. He was uh, getting seeds from a seed company plus people bringing seeds. Uh, he is not gonna be able to do that this year for us. So. Kathy at Living Miracle Homestead has graciously volunteered to take his place. And she is going to try to get some seeds for us and try to gather seeds. And if you want to be in on the seed swap, be sure you bring some seeds with you. Um, and it doesn't matter. I have what we're going to bring. We have a whole ton of okra, whole bunch of okra. okra seeds we have out the ears. Yeah. We're going to bring some it, of those. The red crimson. Red crimson okra. Yeah. Also, I have accumulated a bunch of packets of seeds, maybe like through Seed Swap or through people just sending them to us of stuff that I am just probably not going to plant. So I'm going to bring some of those and some of our okra because we have an abundance of that. So uh, one year we had an abundance of uh, sunflower seeds. Yeah. And we took a whole bunch of sunflower seeds with us to the seed swap. So <clears throat> if you have uh, something like that, you have some packets of seeds that you know you're not gonna plant, or you have a big abundance of a certain type of seed that you're not gonna need that many of <laughs> ever, <laughs> like us. Um, bring them and uh, yeah, get in on the seed swap. Uh, okay, what else? Uh, supplies. Uh, so on the seed swap, if you want to send seeds and you're not gonna be able to come and you want your name on some seed packets that will be getting passed out and passed around and have your name on them, uh, you, can, uh, you can send them to me. You can email me. My email address will be in the description below. You, and you can email me. They can email you your they can email, email address? <laughs> you can, no. <laughs> my email address will be in the description below. Oh, man. And you can email me and okay. tell me that you're going to send something and, and ask for my address. Because... We don't have a P.O. box, and I don't want to put our address no. out there for anybody. So if you want to send seeds or door prizes, let me know, and I will give you my address. So there you go. Um, supplies. We will need a little help with supplies. So if you are willing 
Paper two. plates and sporks. <laughs> if you are willing <laughs> to help with a few supplies, um, it's potluck, so we don't know what anybody's going to bring, but we will need plates, forks, napkins, paper towels, what else? Cups, maybe. Nah, maybe not cups. Mm -hmm. Maybe cups. Well, not if we bring drinks that don't have to have cups. Yeah, I was going to anyway, say, if you have anyway. bottled drinks. <laughs> you know. um, also, like I said, if you don't like potluck and you still want to come, bring you a picnic basket and your own drinks, and you can be there with us and eat your own thing. <clears throat> Some people don't like potluck. It's a fact. No. Well, that's true. Um, the only last thing I'm I can say of, I'll be cooking. Nope, oh, I know. Uh, probably around three whole butts. Oh, you're going to do that again this year? I guess. Okay, there you or go. Or I'm assuming that's what I'm Well, no, do. I hadn't said that yet. Oh, well, I'm assuming that's okay. what I was supposed to do. we are going to evidently cook uh, three Boston butts. Well, that's butts. what we done last year. He makes a killer and Boston butt. That's so good. So, I, we'll bring some Boston butt. I thought that's what we butt. decided on doing. Uh, be great if somebody brought something else, if someone doesn't like pork unless, or something like that. Unless bring somebody some fried else has chicken, a idea. Some, you know. No, we'll just bring three Boston butts. And if anybody else wants to cook, mm -hmm. grill. There is a grill there. It's kind of There wasn't nothing left like shady. <laughs> yeah, true. Yeah, I'm, yeah uh, you don't want to use that grill. Maybe some hot dogs yeah. for the kids. If you're um, going to do that, you better bring chicken. some firewood and just build a fire out there and let them roast it. Well, Mac at Southern Blessed Homestead, he'll tell you the same thing I did. Or will. Neither one of us had a hair on our arms after we got done trying really? to cook burgers. On that grill? Okay, yeah, well. a couple years ago. Okay, well. That, mm -hmm, we work. can boil hot dogs. I don't know. Anyway, we can have hot dogs, fried chicken, what was I saying? If you're coming from a distance and you can't cook and bring it, you can always bring some chips, dip, pick up something at the store, pick up something at Walmart, or uh, there is a grocery store right beside the park that you can pick up some chips at. So uh, anyway, supplies, back to supplies. If you let me know if you are willing to bring plates or napkins or something like that let me know and i'll tell you what to bring so um i know brenda at uh duncan 1900 homestead has always graciously helped out with supplies and uh, i haven't talked to her about this yet so <laughs> but uh also uh, holland and lily at higgs rock farm they always help us out uh, Patty and Mac um, at uh, Southern Same Blessed. Uh, anyway, we have had lots of help over these five years that we appreciate. We appreciate everybody that has helped out. Years. Yes, yes. And we appreciate each and every one. It has been a great time. We've had yes. some fun. We've had some great time. And um, um, we just really appreciate everybody that has helped for the past four years. This will be the fifth year. Yeah. Anyway, okay, one other thing. We always sing the national anthem. Uh, we usually have a flag and we sing the national anthem. I've had different people do that. Last year, I believe it was, we had somebody that just led it and we mm -hmm. sang it. Uh, so, if you would be interested, if yeah, you Yeah, because Mac was gonna do it. And then- <laughs> didn't get to come. Yeah. And then um, him and Patty didn't get to make it. Well, if you sing and so. you are interested in doing the national anthem for us or leading it, we would greatly appreciate it because I have not asked anyone yet this year and I can't sing. So we oh, need someone geez. to lead it geez. or just sing it if you want to just go ahead and sing it yourself. Do. It's great. Uh, what else? Uh, we have the uh, prayer. Uh, yeah. So we will be asking someone there to uh, do our prayer for us before we eat. Say our food. blessing, yeah, before yeah. we eat. Uh, uh, that's all I can think of. I will post a link 
in the description below for past um, a playlist of past picnics if you would like to watch and see what has gone on the past four years. Uh, there will be a playlist in the it's description below. It's been a party. <laughs> We've had a good time. We've had a great time. It's been time. a party, I'm telling you. Uh, so, just to recap, we need uh, door prices. We need seed swap, seeds for seed swap. We need uh, a few supplies. If anyone is willing to help out with supplies, let me know. And I'll give you uh, uh, an item that you could bring. Yeah, we'll have to go through some of our items that... I have a few. I, I, I used yeah, most everything last year. We've still got a yeah, few things left over. We have a few things, but we used a lot back, last but year. we don't um, know exactly what we have. One other thing. Still put back. If it rains, if it rains, we will have the conference room at the hotel. That is, again, yeah. Quality in Calvert City has a conference room that we use. And if it rains, we will just go there. And I don't know how many it holds. I don't know if it'll hold all of us, but we'll try. <laughs> well, half of us that's out underneath yeah, the awning well, yeah. out there at the entrance um, anyway. We, we'll so. get in there somehow. They may run us off. <laughs> I've been but, waiting for uh, that anyway. We but. always <laughs> pray that it doesn't rain, and it has not. We One year it rained towards the end. Yeah towards the end of the picnic most people were done eating yeah. and it started raining and we just scattered like so do you have anything to add besides we had t-shirts one year yeah and i wore this we had t-shirts one year i wore this to work today didn't do that um i was well, advertising we one today. or two years um so yeah, yeah. but i was that advertising was, that was today. fun but i had to uh but i bought the t-shirts and then I didn't get to sell them all and ended up with t-shirts left for a couple of years. So I finally in, did end up selling all of yeah. them, finally. They but it took a while. Sold for like 60, 50 t-shirts and most of them sold the first year, but I had some left and eventually got them all sold. And I wasn't asking much over, I think I'd only added a dollar. Like I was able yeah. to buy the shirts for nine dollars a piece i think i i think i was able to buy the shirts for like nine dollars a piece and i only charged 10. so i wasn't making a lot of money off of them i just wanted to have t-shirts so if anybody's interested in having t-shirts we could talk maybe and i might could maybe. come up with a few but they'd be pre-ordered probably so yeah. yeah anyway any other ideas hey Feel free to ask questions in the comments below. Feel free to give any suggestions in the comments below. I've got so many questions. If I, I ask left you anything out, because he's no help, <laughs> he's no help. So if I left anything out, I'm, ask me. I ain't worried about. It. I'm. I'm just worried about being there, showing up, hmm. talking to people. I got okay. one thing to do. Show up. Cook the butts. Cook the butts. Get you there. And beat Jan at... It, yeah, I got three things to do. There you go, Jan. Jan and Matt. <laughs> so there you go. That's all we got. Uh, if you think of anything, please comment below. We don't and have WD-40 watch. for the wheels this time. I'm putting PB Blaster on them. And, um, um, watch, <laughs> and uh, watch the playlist of the previous um, picnics. Mm -hmm. For sure. All right, that's it, I guess. Is that, that a wrap? It? That's a wrap. <laughs> hey, that's Thank y'all for watching. <laughs> uh, <laughs> y'all comment and, uh, and uh, uh, hit the thumbs up button and comment and subscribe to our channel.